right, so let's look next at the shape tools. We actually have a few shape tools, and they're ones that we use quite a bit in working with Illustrator. Right here is the rectangle tool, and that's the one that's showing foremost, but if I click and hold, I've got underneath that the rounded rectangle tool, the ellipse tool, the polygon tool, the star tool, and the flare tool. Now we're going to talk about all those except the flare tool. That's a little more of a, of a niche tool, but these ones you'll use quite a bit. So keyboard shortcuts, the rectangle tool, you can see it's an M. The ellipse tool is an L. So starting with the rectangle tool, when I have the rectangle tool selected, I just come out here to my artboard, I click and I start dragging. I'm holding down my click, and when I get the rectangle to about the size I want it to be, I let go, and there's my rectangle. Okay? Now, there are a few things that I can do to kind of customize how this rectangle is created. So, let's go ahead and delete that rectangle. And I'm going to go back to my rectangle tool by pressing M on my keyboard. And first of all, let's say that I don't want a rectangle, but I want a square. I want to have perfect width and height to make it a square. Well, if I hold down shift while I'm making the rectangle, you'll see that it locks those proportions. So I can't make it a rectangle. It's always going to be a square. Hold down shift till I have it the way I want. Let go of my click and then let go of shift and I have a perfect square. Now, another keyboard shortcut that can help me in making shapes is if I hold down option, You'll notice that first of all, let's, let's do it without holding down option. If I click and drag, you see how it's expanding from the corner, right? If I hold down option, it expands from the center. So the center stays right where it should, and then the, the rectangle is pulled out from that point. And that's option on a Mac or, or Alt on a PC. Now I can hold down both Shift and Option or Alt and do both. So now it's growing a square out from the center, keeping those proportions locked and growing from the center. So that is the rectangle or the uh, square tool, depending on whether you're holding Shift or not. Now underneath that, let's go to the rounded rectangle tool. The rounded rectangle tool works exactly the same as the rectangle tool. That shift keyboard shortcut works, the option or alt keyboard shortcut works. Only on the rounded rectangle, the corners are rounded. Now if I want to adjust just how round those corners are, I can do that using my arrow keys while I am drawing the rectangle. So as I'm dragging this out, before I let go, if I start pressing the up arrow, it gets more and more round. So I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard, and you'll see that every time I press up, it gets a little more round on those corners. The down arrow gets less and less round. The left arrow makes it as unround as possible, so a nice corner, so that way I could then start rounding it a little bit. The right arrow makes it as round as possible, and then I can start unrounding it if I wanted to. So I, I do all this before I let go of my click, and I can adjust those, adjust those corners to be exactly the way that I want them to be. And then once I have them the way I want, I let go and I have a rounded rectangle. So that is the rounded rectangle tool. Next, let's take a look at the ellipse tool. The ellipse tool is very much like the square or so the rectangle or the rounded rectangle tool, only it's drawing an ellipse or an oval or circle. So I can click and drag it all around to whatever I want it to be, let go, and I have my ellipse. Same keyboard shortcuts apply. If I hold down shift, I'm going to keep make a perfect circle because it's going to keep that width and height exactly right. If I hold down option, it's going to grow it from the center. Again, the keyboard shortcut for the ellipse tool is L, and that's one that you'll be using quite often, so it's a good one to memorize. All right, next, under the ellipse tool, we have the polygon tool. The polygon tool does just what it sounds like. It creates a polygon. Now, when I'm pulling this out, there are a couple of keyboard shortcuts that I can use. If I hold down Shift, it makes it so the polygon is perfectly straight, okay? So you see, if I let go, I can rotate that polygon holding shift it's perfectly straight. If I hold down or if I press the arrow keys while I'm drawing this out I can increase the amount of sides and corners my polygon has. So here we have a hexagon 
hit up arrow two times and now I've got an octagon. I can go all the way down to a triangle and I can add them until it looks just about like a circle because it has so many of them. So I decide how many sides I want my polygon to have, decide if I want it straight or not by holding shift, let go, and I've got my polygon. All right, so that is the polygon tool. Under the polygon tool, I have the star tool. Works very similar to the polygon tool. If I drag it out, I get a star. Holding down shift locks that star straight. And the up and down arrows add or delete points to the star. So those are the shape tools. They're really very useful. As we get into more advanced illustration in these videos, you'll see that a lot of times it's good to start off with the shape tools and then you can make adjustments from there to get to your finished illustration.